All right, so um, continue on G1. We got just got the quest former book translated. So Crystal has finished translating the former book, and so now we get to take it from her. For, like, of course, I'm not surprised he doesn't let anyone into his life. He said he couldn't accept me because he was living the life of a druid. Dot dot dot. And I'm nothing more than a tool who understands the former. Am I nothing more than a tool that understands the former language to him? I'm sorry, but you'll need to go back to where he is. I would like to give the book to him myself. Please understand, I can't give the book to you. You need anything else? Nope. So, uh, I guess we can't. She wants to talk to him herself, so... We have to go talk to Tarlatch. Uh, excuse me. Onward to the moon gate. Oh, there's my clock. I don't know why it's right there. It's kind of a weird place, but my map's usually there, so... I don't know. Do -do. Oh, yeah. Guildstone. Anyway. Come on, moon gate. There we go. Alright. So if we go talk to Tarlat saying the crystal won't give us the book. Um so he's gonna need to do something about that. And we'll leave Tarlat up beside that. I need a title. Titles are useful. Up oh, your stats and whatnot, the crystal collector. Don't have that one yet. Elemental apprentice, reborn, adult, all knowing, golden slayer, single blow. Ten HP max minus MP for no more. And we're gonna go with Golem Slayer. Wait. The Golem Slayer. Oh, just the Golem Slayer. I thought it was with a single blow. I'd be really surprised if this character had Golem Slayer in a single blow, but he doesn't, because he's not that strong yet. If you kill a Golem in one hit, you will obtain the title uh, Golem Slayer with a single blow, or something along those lines. And, yeah, I think I believe that's better stats than just Golem Slayer, as far as stats giving. Um, but, yeah. It's a nice little title to have. You can also get killed by a fox at age 17. If you're age 17, get killed by a fox like those. Uh, just randomly talking about titles now. And go and see Ed Snatcher. Uh, if you do have an event warp imp, or just a warp imp in general, you could possibly set it to Tarlatch. And that, that could probably be pretty useful. You have to talk to Tarlatch a lot in G1. Um, just a stray thought. Since I'm just thinking of stuff to talk about while I'm doing this. So I did remember to look at the time before I started this episode because my timer died and he charged the battery back up. So it was 2.21 when I started this. So around 2.40, definitely going to stop. That'll be a 20 minute episode. The last episode was like 20 minutes and it's kind of long. I don't know. If people like the longer, the shorter ones. I don't know. I don't know. So thankfully it's night time so we can... Talk to Tarlatch. Hello, Tarlatch. Listen intently to you as you relay Crystal's message to him. Is that what she said? But I can't leave this place. I understand how she feels since I gave her... Since she gave up her life as a foamer for love. But I am not a man who deserves that kind of love. Although it is too late when I realized it and ended up breaking her heart. Sad. Dot dot dot. Could I ask you for a favor? I left something with Mevin in Tirakana a long time ago. Would you please retrieve it for me? Could you tell him I told you and he will know what we're talking about? Anything else? Okay, so now I have to get something for Talak from Mevin, who is the priest in Tirakana. In the church. He's like the only NPC that's in a church, besides the cathedral, I think. Churches are rather empty, it seems. I don't know why. They could put, like, but people will do holy water jobs inside the church. That would make them a little more useful. People go in them a lot, thanks. People will love holy water. Holy water is good stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to Mevin. And then the quest line. We have, well, all we have to talk to Mevin. We can complete this quest and get nearly 4,000 experience and 3 ability points. Nice AP. AP, AP. AP is OP. Ho ho. No, I'm just kidding. Running, running, running. To move in on my horse. So it's it's so nice that they give you the free mounts now because all this running around talking to people really does take a long time if you don't have a fast mount. Uh, my horse actually has the attention hog title. Uh if you have your pet out long enough 
or just how your pet do lots of things in general. It'll eventually get titles like the Almost Healer. When it heals you and the Attention Hog when it when you summon a lot, I think. I don't know. But hello Mevin, we need Oh, it's you, Lucky. Welcome. Talk to Mel about Tarlet's item. Even if it was Druid magic, it didn't last this it didn't last this long, so I was taking care of it through Dr. Lasser. I don't know if Lasser's a doctor. I think she's a wizard, but do wizards classify as doctors? I don't know. Anyway, Tarlatch must have not forgotten about her if he's asking for that item back. Well, it's really just too sad. Well, then, what else do you wish to talk about? Nothing. Okay, the quest auto-completed. Do we get another quest? No, we haven't got another quest. So, I guess we'll wait for a moment or two, see if we get that quest fairly soon here. Talk to Eldeon, just for fun. Hello. Shop, anything? I I can sell this enchant. Cannot be sold in the shop. What? Is this a personalized enchant? Expired. Oh, yep. Exclusives. They can't even sell the enchant. I uh, don't need... Don't need these Alberina... Oh, wait. We might have to, have to talk to Goro again. I don't have a bow with me, so I really don't need these arrows. Yes, you have a Warhammer and two swords, so... I don't need those arrows. I probably need to deposit this hat, and... I'm gonna go... Put this stuff right here. Do, 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 do. Free VIP. It's pretty awesome, but it's ending real soon. So anyway, we got the next quest, so we'll do that. Do, do you got us? Oh wait, no, that's a different quest. What? Bingo event quest. That's a lot of experience. Anyway, uh, we got a quest. Should say it in the log. Hunt five brown bulls quest. Okay. Well, I guess that wasn't the quest we want. So I guess I will stop recording and then record um, a little bit. I mean, record once I get the quest. All right, we're back about two minutes later. Not too long. And we got the quest to go get Mevin's item. So we have to talk to Lassar in the school. So we'll go do that. So it's about. Yep. All right. Ooh, from this one we get, we get the Book of Revenge, and you get the Tar Latch. I also get 25,000, not 25,000, 2,500 gold, 2,800 experience, and three more AP points. Yay, AP. Train our skills. Here's Ronald, playing him so around like crazy man. Yeah. Hello, Lazar, we need to speak to you about things. Mm, close that um, are you lucky by any chance? Yes, haha. -ha. You're just as Ronald described, Ronald. It's a pleasure to meet you, Pleasure, I'm Lassar. Ronald says great things about you, my friend. Awesome. Here's this item I've been told me to give you. Isn't it beautiful? It's a black rose. The overall and redness of the flower turn itself turns the flower pitch black. I'm happy it grew so beautifully compared to the other flowers. But what's the reason you're looking for such a rare flower? Are you going to give it to your lover? Ha ha lols. Is there anything else you have? Nope, think of the star. We got we got that, we're good to go. Now I gotta talk to somebody else that's not Lazar. Tarlatch. And he's gonna be de verified really soon. Alright, so I guess I'll ride up there, but there's not much point much point because I'm gonna have to wait like a full day until he's a bear again. If I had the warp imp, I can just you know teleport there. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, you could also probably use housing flyers if you really wanted to, but I don't really miss with that method because it's kind of complicated. And I'm lagging backwards. Mm. Alright, so back up Seed Snatcha, and that's where Tarlash Tar Tar will be, but he'll be in bear form. And he needs to be in human form so we can talk to him. So uh, I'll have to wait around till nighttime again. But it's only going to be like, I'm having a day, it's like 36 minutes, so it'll be 15 plus 3, 18 minutes or so. So I'll probably just. No, normally you could like run a dungeon or something to kill the time. It's totally up to you, or you could kill ancient coyotes that might be lying around. Um. Yep, but until then, I'm going to. Start recording and continue on when we can actually talk to Tarlatch. So. Just up this area, and you'll be on your way to Tarlatch. So. Yeah, see you in a little bit. And almost. Hmm, kill people. Hello. 
There we are. Hello, Talat. How are you? You fine evening. I've only been waiting several Mavenoy hours to talk to you. Yes, that's it. The black rose I've been looking for. No, it's different. This is a new flower. Thank you, Lucky, for helping me. Then, please do me one more favor. Can you deliver this rose crystal in Dunburton? That would be all. Thanks. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. So, we talked to him. Waited for 18 minutes or so for that. Awesome. Well, since I still have free unlimited content warps to the VIP service being free, I'm going to warp to Dunburton because that's the fastest way to do it. Now, you can also do this without having a VIP service because you can just do it right before 12 because Constant Warp refreshes at 12 uh, a.m. and p.m. in the game. So you can do it right before 12 and then wait till 12 and then Constant Warp back. And that could very well save you some time. It's a useful trick to know, but if you have VIP, then you can just Constant Warp all, all you want and so basically get to Dunbarton really fast in most, most situations. So we talked to Tarlatch. And now we're talking to Crystal. Nope. Uh, no. This is Tarlad. Tears from Crystal's eyes. Ah, Tarlad. He still remembers that song, the song of the Black Rose, the song I sang for him. Does this mean that all this time Tarlad has been struggling, just like me? Possibly. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be wondering why Tarlad abandoned me. Here's a translated book. I apologize for my rudeness. There was some former text written in the back of the book, which seemed to have no connection to the content of the book. I translated them just in case. Be thorough. Yeah, I hope this helps. Do you need anything else? Nope. And so I think it's about a good good length for thingy. I don't know. Close. Good chat. Bam. All right. So the quest automatically completed. And oh, we have to read the translated book. That's what I wanted to do anyway. Let's read the translated book. Yay! There it is. Right here. What's this? The God of Oh, didn't read that one. Oh, we got the Morse keyword. Awesome. The Book of Revenge, written by Morse. Introduction. Uh, you can read this. You don't have to. It gives some backstory into things. You can usually get by pretty well with just reading what the NPCs say and what the cutscenes are. But if you want to get more, a little bit more into the lore of the game, you can totally read that. I might just read it after I'm done recording because uh, I'll do that. Because I, I haven't read them in a while, so I'll do that. Anyway, uh, well that was that. The next, uh, as soon as you read the book, the next quest will send you to your Kano. And a well, moon gets her up right now. I could go there, but I'm just gonna end the video now. And thanks for watching. And look forward to making more in the future stuff and finishing you one. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.